What is up guys? So today a new campaign came out. It's called Search for El Dorado and the main master is a 93 Tim Duncan and the rest are all 91s. So without further ado, let's try to break it down and see what we can get no money spent. This campaign is going to be seven days long, which is the usual. And so we start off the campaign. So there's five different events on the left side. There's a middle circle and then there's the right side. So let's start breaking it down from the left side. The left side is already unlocked when you start the campaign and there's four events for each of the five different um events you could say whatever you call them and some of them are 50 stamina some of them are 75 the last one is 100 once you play all four on the fourth pack you get a guaranteed 78 overall player or higher and you have a chance at pulling the 85 overall player for that exact um event you're playing for so for example for this one I have a chance of pulling 85 John Morant. This one, I have a chance of pulling 85 Bradley Beal. Like, there's always a chance of pulling them. I didn't pull them yet, but there is a chance. And so, the main point is, as you're playing these, you're earning um, these star emblems, is what I'm going to call them. Uh, they look like a sun. Yeah, let's call them sun emblems. So, right now, it says first twin, <clears throat> 200, and then there's 50 extra. So, you're getting about 250 from this event separately. Um, let's see what is it okay so 150 for this one 100 for this one 200 for this one and the pack so it's a different amount for uh, each one of the four events and so you're earning players on the fourth event which you later use in sets and you're earning emblems what do you use those sun emblems for so you click on one of these five players on the actual player so I'm going to click on Gordon Hayward and right now I have 5,000 emblems and you get to purchase these players for 10,000 uh, sun emblems, sun points. I'm going to say sun points. Emblems takes too long to say. Sun points to buy one player. So 10 grand to buy one player. And in order to buy all five of these players, you need 50 sun points. All right. Not 50. I wish 50,000 sun points. So as you're playing these five events, you're going to be playing games, and in those games, you're going to be getting steals, blocks, three-pointers, rebounds, assists, and that's where this middle row comes in. As you're playing, you're going to be getting achievements. So I'm going to click on the top left one that's blocked, and it says, it's okay, Steve Nash, achievement by making 22 assists. So all you're going to do is make 22 assists throughout the whole entire game. Season, league versus league, showdown. Um, player versus player or this campaign doesn't matter what it is live today whatever you want as long as you're making the assists you won't unlock this and then you play this event and it resets apparently every day one time so you definitely want to play this pack uh, this event all of them obviously and then right here I forgot what this one was I forgot what those were as well but the one that are locked I know what they are so making five steals Steals and blocks might be a little more harder to get um, because this game is, it, sometimes it r doesn't render a steal or a block, which kind of is upsetting, but I mean, I try my best to grind them out, and yeah, the best I would recommend is probably the live today events. Um, the There's five free events, let me quickly show you guys, so you go, not limited time, my bad, my bad. Yeah, so what I'm going to show you right now is what I would prefer to use to help grind out that middle circle in the new El Dorado campaign. We go home, we go on live today. And then right here, you see where it says like that zero out of five in the middle right here? You click on that and they're all free. Five free events and you're playing two minute and 30 second games. Each one of these five. All you do is click play, auto, auto play, boom. And you'll just eventually get them. And they're replayable. So you can play this as much as you want, watch TV, whatever you want. And it's just going to be playing um, for you. And you can get those achievements. So back to the campaign. It is quite a confusing campaign. But after uh, looking around at it for quite a while, I finally figured it out. So we figured out the left side. We figured out the middle side. Also, under the middle side, there is this one repeatable event. If you do have spare stamina, which I highly doubt you will, uh, you can play this event right here for 35 stamina. You're going to be getting 70 sun emblems for it, and it's replayable, so you can play it as many times as you want. Um, 
and then the right side. The right side comes locked. In order to unlock this right side, I'm just going to click on a random lock. You have to acquire an 89 un ungilded master, all right? So this side right here, the left side is ungilded. The right side, did I say right side? The left side is ungilded. The right side is gilded. I don't know what that really means, um, but that's what the game says. So click under any one of these players' uh, locks, and it's going to say the exact same thing. So all you got to do is acquire an 89 overall ungilded player, and you're going to unlock all of these five events right here, and you can grind them as well. What I would recommend doing is let's just go to sets. I think it'll make more sense if we go to sets. Don't forget to watch your ads as well. So I won't forget to mention that. So as I was saying earlier, as you're grinding those five left side events, you're going to be purchasing, right? right? You're going to be earning those sun emblems. Once you get to 50 grand of those sun emblems, you're going to buy each one of those five players, right? And then you throw in all five of those players in this set and you get to select 189 master. And that is how you unlock the right side. So we got that through, right? So once you select one of these 89 overall players, you get to choose which 91 do you want to complete, right? Let's just say I'll go for Joel. I'm going to throw in that 89 player in here, and then I'm going to have to grind another 50,000 sun points and buy all those players that I just bought previously, buy all those players again, and complete this set again. And then I'm going to pick the other player. So let's say I picked Joel Embiid first. I completed this set once. Second time I complete it, I'm going to pick Chris Paul, put Chris Paul and Joel in this set, and I have a 91 Joel. And once you complete one of these sets, like I said earlier, you're going to unlock the right side of the campaign. You can finally start doing this set. If you want, you can grind out only for 189 over, put 189 overall player on this side, right? Stop grinding that side completely and just move on to the right side which is what I'm going to try to do because I want that Clay Thompson. Same story goes for the right side. You play all those, all five of those events. You earn 50,000 points, uh, 50,000 sun points. You spend all 50,000 on all five 85 overall players. You throw the players in the set. You select one of your 89 players. Let's say I select Clay first. Okay, I put him in the 91 Clay set. I grind another 50,000 points again. I buy those exact five players again, throw them in the set, select OG, put OG in this set, obviously, and then you have your Clay Thompson 91, and we spent, I hope, it's going to be that easy. It's easy to say, but it's hard to do it. Um, I really love a three-point shot, and I'm glad to see Clay Thompson in NBA Lab Mobile again. But the thing is, let's say you get Joel and Clay or any two of these masters, right? If you get two of those masters, you can put two of them in this set right here, and you can get that Tim Duncan. One problem is he's an auction ball, and the other problem is you might not be able to get him the money spent. But I'm still going to put it in the title of the video, because maybe someone has a lot of those stamina packs, and they might grind it out. There's also this set right here. Whenever you play that middle circle in the El Dorado campaign, you're going to get these El Dorado veteran um, golden artifact things. You throw them in this set, and you're going to get an 87 Robert Horry or Steve Nash select pack, um, which I guess is cool. You're going to get a free 87. And then, as you're playing those left or right side events, on the fourth uh, event of each one of those players, you're going to get a pack that gives you either a gold player or a higher overall. You throw them in this set if you want, or you can put them on your road to gold lineup, and you get 3,000 Eldorado points, which will help you a lot. You can also throw in 581 players that you pull from the exact same events, and you can get how much? 6,000? 8,500. You can throw in normal gold players in here, which I guarantee their value has gone up in the auction house since this set came out. 150 or you can throw in 15 for 500 there's also this awesome set here finally all those positions tokens that we've grinded out this earlier this season in the start of it can be put into use 
I have a bunch in my bench because I just don't have enough space in my inventory. Um, you throw just tokens in here. 40 point guard tokens. You're going to get a 78 to an 85 point guard from this pack with a chance at pulling the 85 John Morant, which will help you tremendously in the sets. Same with shooting guard, uh, small forward, power forward, and center. I already completed... Um, I think it was the power forward. That's where I got this 81 overall player from. Oh, center. That's where I got my bins from. I had uh, 40 center tokens just laying around, but I think I'll find more. And that's pretty much it for the sets. Hopefully, you guys will be able to get at least one 91 master money spent. I I don't know. I really want to get the clay, but I'm just... If I want to get clay, I need to grind out one 89 overall player, which is 50,000 points. I'm going to unlock the right side, right? I'm going to have to grind out 289 overall players in order to put them into this clay set. So that's another 100,000 points. So in total, I need to grind out 150,000 sun points, which sounds a little unreal since today I barely even got 10,000. So sadly, I don't think I'll be able to get clay. I'm just going to have to go for either Joel or Chris Paul, which I'll probably go with Joel. But it is what it is. You got to make some bread, right? Um, and that's pretty much it. For the previous campaign, I finally, I grinded out to the, what do you call it, the 90 overall Rudy Gobert? No, the 92. I got 390 overall players. I got Pasco, CJ, and Rudy. I threw Rudy in the set, the other three tokens in the set, and I got my 92 Rudy, and I sold them in auction house. The only thing that's keeping me in this game is that I have a lot of auctions sold, and I'm just waiting for that video. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but hopefully soon. I mean, I'm not in no rush, but... I can promise you guys, it's a lot of coins in there because I haven't claimed a single auction since the first day of Season 5. So, I can promise you that it's going to be a lot of coins. And I already have 6.5 million just out of playing the game, not even collecting any auctions. So, yeah, I can't wait for that video. And hopefully you guys are, are going to find this video um, helpful. And like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to get shouted out on my next video, comment down anything on this video. And I'll show you on my next video. Thank you and peace.